Putting accuracy first, this is News 3 Weather. We have been dealing with a mixture of sun and clouds and temperatures lately have actually been very close to normal, but we are going to be experiencing a change, not necessarily today, but over the next few, you're going to be able to step outside, feel the winds increasing, and anytime you can feel those winds starting to get a little bit stronger, you know something is going to happen. Something is going to be changing, and that's why we're looking at the mid-level flow. We're watching one bit of that flow in particular moving in by Friday, and whenever we see this, this kind of looks like the flow is spreading out a little bit. This is what we call an exit region, and an exit region tends to support rising motion in the atmosphere. That means that while we're not only going to be dealing with a chance for rain, that will also help aid in the development of some thunderstorm activity. So we're going to watch this, but eventually it moves out of the way and we're just going to be dealing with more cooler conditions. Northwest flow is going to start taking over and it's going to be just a little bit more on the chilly side as we approach this upcoming week. And it is definitely a chilly one this morning. Many of us are below freezing 29 currently in Harrisburg, 28 in Carmi and Carbondale, Paducah and Cape Girardeau are below freezing, but still in the 30s, 31 degrees there. But you can notice in southeast Missouri, there are some areas that are a little bit warmer. Poplar Bluff, Portageville, and Ellington are all really near 40 degrees. The reason for that were the clouds. We experienced quite a bit of sunshine yesterday, but then the clouds started to move in during the overnight hours. It started out cloudy and then sunny and then cloudy, and then we ended up with clear skies. But you can see on the enhanced color coding on the satellite, a few more clouds are starting to push in and they moved in during the overnight. One of the reasons Southeast Missouri just a little bit warmer. While many of us are going to start out with sunshine, those clouds are going to be on the increase. They are bringing with it a little bit of rain. I don't necessarily think that is going to make it into our area, at least not not yet. Our rain chances start to go up after midnight, but the energy from that little bit of rain farther off to the west will help increase the cloud cover as we head throughout the afternoon hours, but you're really going to notice the clouds be a little bit more on the thick side tonight, and then you're going to wake up tomorrow morning likely with some rain showers, not necessarily heavy rain, but something that could maybe impact your commute a little bit. So something to plan for there. But while I think it's mainly focused in the morning and early afternoon hours, once it moves out, skies are going to begin to clear and we're going to be dealing with a little bit more of those cooler conditions and then some fair weather clouds. The cotton ball puffy clouds are likely going to be around through much of Thursday. And while we'll start out with lots of sun today, as I mentioned, clouds are going to be on the increase. High temperatures will rise into the mid 50s, but then as we approach midnight, temperatures are going to remain warm and even start warming overnight, bringing with it that chance for rain. We at least clear out a little bit by Thursday before warmer conditions, windy conditions, and rain and storm activity move in for Friday. But the end of Saturday right now looking mainly sunny. We just have to get through a little bit of that rain storm activity first. So it's going to stay in the 50s for a little while before the weekend. Then. Before the weekend, yeah. And then Friday is going to be kind of the oddball out. That's going to be the warm one. And then Saturday is back into the 50s as well. 